Hey everybody, welcome to PC Perspective. Today we're gonna to take a look at a brand new mini ITX gaming system from AVA Direct that I think will really impress you with its performance and features. The AVA Direct Mini Gaming PC is actually a product they've had around for a while, but this is a new revision of the product. They have a whole new case, it's based on a whole new platform. Inside this BitPhoenix chassis, you'll find every component that you're looking for for a high performance gaming rig. Z77 chipset, uh, Ivy Bridge, Core i7, 3770K, even a GTX 680 all fit inside this rig. Let's take a look around the outside and then peek inside. So here's the case. It's actually a BitPhoenix Prodigy case. It's midnight black color. Um, it's a mini ITX chassis, but you can see it's not super tiny, but it's small enough uh, to be discreet. On the front here, you've got a nice uh, mesh finish. There is a large fan behind it. Uh, AV Direct, AVA Direct sticker, you've got your Blu-ray burner. Um, you've got good ventilation on this side. You can kind of see right here the GTX 680 GPU behind that. If you look at the back panel, you'll see how all the hardware is mounted in here. You've got your mini ITX motherboard. This is an ASUS P8Z77i, really high-end board. You've got Wi-Fi included. You've got lots of USB 3.0, all the features that would come with that motherboard. Power supply is bottom mounted. Uh, you've got a big fan here that blows across the heat sink on the CPU that we'll show you on the inside. On the right-hand side, You've got two external USB 3, you've got audio, power, and reset buttons there. Now you'll notice something else that's interesting is that it's on these legs here. It's some kind of, and it kind of wobbles. It's kind of interesting. This is something that BitPhoenix calls the Fiber Flex. It's a combination of plastic and fiber, um, and it's strong enough to use as a handle, right, which is good. Good for carrying around to, to land parties and that kind of stuff. But they're also saying that it can absorb some of the shock while it's moving, right? Somebody bumps the table, you get a little vibration there, but your components inside are supposedly a little bit safer as well. At first using it, I was a little scared by the fact that it flexed. They say that with the fiber in there, um, it's not really an issue. So that's, that's pretty good. I like that. Up top, there is also a uh, removable um, pair of uh, 240 area, I guess 240 uh, millimeter squared area that if you don't have an optical drive, apparently you can put a large water cooler up top there too, but because we have big heat, heat sink and optical drive, it's basically just another ventilation spot. So there you go. So let's go ahead and open up the BitPhoenix chassis and take a look inside the AVA Direct system here. And uh, when we do that, you'll see, you'll start to get an idea of what the size is actually like. Once we see how big the GTX 680 is inside the design here, you can see we've actually got a, a Cooler Master 850 watt power supply, an EVGA GTX 680. Uh, down here, you've got space for, they have a two terabyte hard drive as well as a 240 gig OCZ uh, Vertex 3 SSD included, which is nice. A little bit behind here, we'll show you the um, massive Prolimatec heatsink. You got your optical drive. Um, if we come around to this side, now it's a little bit more difficult on this because there are cables that connect the front panel and that kind of stuff. But if I kind of tilt this at an angle towards the camera, you should be able to see um, kind of how that works, right? So you can see we've got these cables connected down here. Uh, some of them are hard to run, so I'm not gonna disconnect it. But you can get a look at uh, the inside of the chassis here, the Asus P8Z77i motherboard, a bigger view of the heat sink. You can see your SATA connections for your hard drive and SSD, and then the power, uh, the routing for the power supply. Also worth noting, the power supply is completely uh, modular, which is important when working with mini ITX cases in order to keep it even somewhat clean. And you can see AVA Direct has done a good job of, of maintaining cleanliness in a very tight design. So the system looks good, has some interesting features. It performs really well. The price, it's gonna cost you about $2,146 for this specific configuration when it comes out. All things considered, that's actually not a bad price considering you're getting top level components, the best Ivory Bridge processor, the best NVIDIA single GPU graphics card you can get. There's overclocking headroom in there, good cooler, big SSD, a lot of great features in that. $2,100, small chassis, pretty impressive little price point actually. If you want more information about this AVA Direct mini gaming PC, check out our full review with pictures and benchmarks at PCPer.com.